What's up everybody, Jason here, doing a test ride of a 2019 Triumph Bonneville T100. This belongs to a good friend of mine, and he graciously allowed me to take it for a little test ride. So I can just share it with you guys. Like I said, this is a 2000, I believe, 19 Triumph T100 Black Edition. It just blacked out. It's a pretty cool looking bike. Um, my friend who bought this is a beginner. This is his first motorcycle ever. You know, and I was kind of helping him pick a bike, and he he found this one and just fell in love with it because let's be honest, this is a cool, cool motorcycle. The uh, the Triumph just has a cool factor about it that a lot of bikes don't have in my opinion i just love tribes i think they're a cool bike especially the bonnie but uh oh boy watch it um, but you know it's a 900 cc which would seem like a big bike for a beginner but this bike is um i mean it's heavy because it's a it's you know it's a 900 cc you know kind of cruiserish bike but um, it's balanced really well. It feels good. Um, you know, it feels torquey enough. Like, you know, I've been riding motorcycles most of my life. It feels torquey enough that I would be happy with this bike as my forever bike. It just feels good. But it's not intimidating. Like, a newer rider could really grow into something like this um, without worrying about you know the power being too much for them it handles well it's balanced well it has really good brakes um i tell you though the thing about this motorcycle that impressed me the most from the get-go was the clutch like the clutch on this thing is just butter a nice little switch back here clutch on this thing is super smooth the throw isn't super long to me the engagement point is in a nice spot um, but it's like it's just a real smooth clutch it's not real jerky or whatever and you know the power delivery of the motorcycle also helps out a lot um, because the power delivery of the motorcycle is real smooth but torquey you know it helps it helps your clutching quite a bit so I'm really impressed with the clutch on this bike. It, the ride quality is real smooth on it. Um, like I said, like I said before, it's got good brakes. Um, it feels fairly balanced. Like I haven't ridden a street bike in a while. I ride dirt every week, but I haven't ridden a street bike in a while. But I'm still able to just intuitively kind of lean this thing over a little bit. Now, obviously, it's not going to handle uh, like a sport bike, um, but to me, it handles better than a lot of big giant cruisers which is nice but it's a cool bike it's comfortable um, especially for like an around town commuter bike the seating position to me is really comfortable the stock seat actually isn't too bad um, I don't know that I want to do like a road trip on this bike but you could um, I would be more comfortable on this on a road trip than uh, a cruiser with uh, forward controls. Uh, just that seating position is not my favorite. Uh, I like this a lot better. The controls are underneath you, your feet are underneath you. Um, you know, it's a pretty neutral reach to the handlebars. You know, you're just kind of sitting upright. You know, you're not going to like lean back in anything on this bike. You're just sitting kind of upright, kind of neutral position. Uh, I mean, I personally could ride in this position for a lot of hours, a lot of miles, even more so than like a big cruiser, but that's personal preference. Like some people love that cruiser seating position. Uh, I just don't care for it. The controls are fairly intuitive. Like if you've ridden any motorcycle, you can ride this one. It's got turn signal horn, stop and start, you know, just kind of nothing's, 
in a weird spot it doesn't have any fancy gizmos which uh which is kind of nice if you ask me i mean a, a lot of technology is cool on bikes you know recently rode the uh ducati multistrada the new one and it's awesome um but there's a lot to it there's a lot of buttons a lot of gadgets and gizmos and technology in it um that you have to kind of like look for sometimes Colorado Springs Jeep Tours Yeah, this is pretty cool. I really like this motorcycle. If you're considering it and you're a newish rider, I would say don't be afraid of it. Um, it's very smooth, very user-friendly. Uh, the controls are intuitive. It's balanced well. The clutch uh, might be one of the better clutches, especially on a cruiser that I've ridden. Like, it's nice. And it is not, it's not a hydraulic clutch, but somehow it feels like a hydraulic clutch. It's so smooth. Um, so if you're a newer rider, I wouldn't necessarily be afraid of this one. Um, but then on the other end of that, if you're an experienced rider looking for a motorcycle, uh, I wouldn't shy away from this either thinking that it's going to be too small or too slow or, or too whatever. Like if you're looking for something a little more advanced, um, even a seasoned rider um, will enjoy this. Because I consider myself a, a pretty experienced rider, I, you know. Obviously, there's a lot of people with more seat time than I have, but I consider myself to be an experienced rider. I've been riding for most of my life, and I would still enjoy this as my everyday motorcycle. So, um, Triumph did a, uh, a great job on making this just kind of a motorcycle for everybody. Uh, it's, yeah, it's really impressive. I mean, I even wouldn't mind being this my only motorcycle. I would take, I'm not going to ride cross country on it probably, though you could. But uh, a couple hour trips in the mountains to go camping or something, like I would definitely do that. Um, yeah, but I'm enjoying this. It's a good bike. So uh, if you were on the fence, I'd say uh, this one definitely would be a contender, depending on what you're wanting. But I would I would make this a contender if this is the type of bike you're looking for. Uh, I'm I'm super impressed. And like I said, clutch, the brakes, the power delivery, everything just feels good. It's uh, it's easy to use. You're not going to get yourself in trouble, um, but it still has kind of that twin cylinder torque, which would make it a fun, it, which makes it a fun bike to ride. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you don't mind, click that like and subscribe button.